Hi everybody, I wanted to do another video of my HP 200 LX. This time I wanted to demo the EasyCat uh, serial trackpad um, that I have hooked up to the uh, HP serial cable, um, which is connected using this null modem adapter here, right? So you can see that I've hacked these cables, I've, I've resoldered them and shortened them rather crudely, but, but this makes it a little more uh, easy to use this as a, as a small, short uh, palm top cable. Um, so I'm going to be running CAD software here today. Um, so I have special, uh, I created a bat file, which will, so all I have to do is type in CAD here, which will configure my mouse drivers, configure my, uh, I, I'm using special EGA display drivers that, that are more compatible with, with CAD. The display is all funky without them. Um, with, and, and so but just by typing CAD and hitting enter, it executes, uh, it loads my cute mouse driver. This is my uh, video driver loading here um, without having to you know, type in a bunch of different drivers and find them in the different folders, right? So that's the cool thing about DOS and really any command line interface. You could easily you know, create a list of instructions you want to load. Um, so I'm using AutoCAD 2.62, uh, uh, which was the last version of AutoCAD that did not require a math coprocessor. Um, so that processor would speed up calculations um, and, and make make CAD run a little faster. But anyways, to run to run that on the HP 200 LX, you're going to need a special um, a special uh, emulator to run in the background, which is going to slow everything down, right? So I would use 2.62 or older here. So I'm going to hit um, one to start a new drawing here. Um, I have to give my drawing a name. And here we go. It just takes a moment to load. You know, of course, this isn't a lightning fast system, but you know, you can run run it for about a month using two AA batteries, right? So, if you wanted to go off into the woods and run a CAD software every now and then, like it's a great solution for that. So now we've we've all loaded up here. You know, the cool thing about CAD is it it has you know I can I can use my trackpad here to move my cursor around. But I can also use my keyboard, right? So you see this command uh, field right here. I can just type in line, um, hit enter, and start drawing a line here. Um, as easy as that, right? So um, it makes it a lot easier to to get around once you once you know um, what you're doing. Um, then then having to navigate through these menus on the side, which which uh, you know I, I can I can click around, go to draw, I can see all the things I can draw, like an arc or whatever. Um, right, or I could just type arc in at the bottom and that's a little easier, right? Oh, I need to hit three point here. So, so now I'm drawing an arc instead of a line. Right, so you see how that works. So um, the cool thing about CAD, it also has keyboard support, right? So let's say you're using your HP 200 LX and you did not have all this mouse junk with you, right? So I can move my cursor very slowly by pressing the arrow keys. You know, you'll see how that, that'll take forever. Um, let's start with a line again. Um, I can move it a little faster by, uh, by hitting my function key, my page up, uh, my, to, to reach my page up button, right? So now I'm in page up mode, right? So you'll see that my cursor starts jumping by larger increments. I can do that again to jump by really large increments, right? So I can move over to this side of the screen, hit page down, and then move my cursor very precisely, you know, and then page up again to, to jump over here and move and move, you know. So of course, um, you know, People used to, you know, modern technology would probably think this is completely absurd, but I guarantee you, like, this is going to be a lot more precise than using your fat finger on a on an iPad to, to move a cursor around, right? I'm not saying that this device is a superior drafting device than an iPad, but um, it certainly is precise and, you know, was good enough for your your most professional shops in the 80s, right? Like, like CAD was the industry, AutoCAD was the industry standard. Um, you know, and you can still do a lot with it today, right? Um, so, you know, I think that's really all I really wanted to show you. You know, I think it's just really cool, the command line interface here, you know, using the mouse, um, and then, and then you know, also being able to use the keyboard to move around. You know, you truly could carry this around with you and, and you know, draft up floor plans or parts in the woods, right? And with complete precision or solve 
you know mathematical problems using using CAD, right? CAD was also used for that kind of stuff. So you know, really cool. You know, I think most people out there would think this is completely absurd, but I I enjoy it. Thanks everybody. Bye.